Hello, I'm Karina Garcia and I work on Rain's product development team. I wanted to take some time and shine a light on how our worldview enterprise solution may be used by multinational corporations to help shape global forecasting and scenario development planning. As an example, if we take a look at an enterprise risk department and one that's focused on Taiwan and the potential for greater conflict there, we can start on the homepage, click on Taiwan, and we'll see a preview as to how we're assessing risk. We have the opportunity to explore more on the country page where we're providing a breakdown of geopolitical and security risk. Not only do we provide an assessment of risk in the current tense, but also how we see risk evolving over the next 12 month period to help shape your own internal forecasts. In this case, despite a lot of rhetoric, we still see the risk being low overall over the next 12 month period. Regarding scenario development, let's take a look at key forecast questions. Key forecast questions identify the key issues that we at Rain are tracking closely and that we see shaping the global geopolitical landscape over the next few years. We can see examples of those key issues here. Regarding Taiwan, we have one that asks, how does the Taiwan-China relationship evolve? For every key forecast question, we identify the most viable scenarios and provide a percentage likelihood to help quantify that. We're also tracking these issues very closely identifying where there are notable events that cause us to evaluate the scenarios and whether percentages change or not, give context as to how this event fits into the overall picture. At RAIN, we currently see scenario A, the cross Strait Gulf widens at 75% being the most likely. Understanding that enterprise risk departments need to monitor these issues closely, there's additional tools available within key forecast questions. We provide the indicators that should be looked at as signposts to understand if this scenario is becoming more likely, and also su to support your assessments, the implications, stressing both the geopolitical and the business implications. So arming you with the intelligence and the analysis to liaison with different departments internally. For example, with supply chain teams to assess alternatives, with strategy and operation teams around your global footprint, with the finance team and perhaps the need to buffer in additional costs, and giving you intelligence to work with the security team as we at Rain see the potential for greater risk of cyber theft. Overall, key forecast questions are intended to be used as a monitoring tool, but also to shape your internal assessments and give you the ability to craft your own internal strategies and sit down at the table with the C-suite or the board of directors and be able to give recommendations on how your organization can be prepared and therefore mitigate against these risks wherever possible.